Hey Marauders and welcome back to the next video and this one we are taking a look at Extron's Bots City Commander Commander Stack which is Extron's Bots version of Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. Now we got a Masterpiece Ultra Magnus a number of years back from Takara and it was a uh, he's a bit oversized, he's a bit chunky, just um, this is a bit uh, more refined, a bit more to scale. So we just take a look at the box, it's a really nice artwork on the front of the box there of Ultra Magnus in a an Autobot City holding his gun up, some laser pew pews around him. Uh, on the side, we've got a uh, thirst for victory leads to defeat. Not tiring of defeat leads to victory. That is profound. Take from it what you will. On the back of the box, we've got the Stunticons fighting with Cup and G2 Cosmos, G1 Cosmos, and we've got some of the, uh, the Stunticons there, and we've got Springer there, and Motormaster. And we've got some tech specs there if you want to read bio for. City Commander, you go, uh, I hope you can read that, uh, and there we go, and on that side we've got a sort of a schematic there of Ultra Magnus, and his little face in there, and we've got the picture there again, and that is it for the box, so let's get it open and see what he looks like and what accessories he comes with. Okay guys, so here we have Commander Stack out of his box, and he looks absolutely fantastic, I think he looks great, um, he does come with a little human form version of himself from the episode that I can't remember. Uh, we also got like a human version of this guy with uh, Springer, or Virtus, whichever you want to call him. Uh, he won't, will he stand? Oh, he will stand. And we also get some replacement faces. So we've got the, uh, the little face there with his little chin tickler. And we've got a little mouth open face there. Uh, ooh, even out. And we've also got uh, that face where he's like uh, saying something else with the thing. And we've got some uh, toy face as well where he's doing a bit smiling and mouth opening. Ah! I'm assuming this is when he's being pulled apart. And we also get some little eye parts because he has a light up feature in his head. I do not have batteries for it, so we will not be lighting up the eyes today. And he comes with his blaster. Now he also comes with, which the uh, original Takara release didn't come with, uh, a matrix of leadership. And to access the matrix, we just come along and I'll bring close to the camera. You just open up this, just like that, and then you can just quite easily open up the chest, like so. And inside we've got the matrix of leadership, which we can take out. And this does just like uh, the MP. Oh, one matrix did it will open slightly, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, inside it is not a uh, clear; it is just a painted piece of plastic, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so we can put that back in its chest there. Uh, close in the little doors and close that down, and that is the matrix back inside. Um, size comparison. Here he is with the Takara Ultra Magnus. As you can see, there is uh, quite a difference between these. This guy is, he's a good inch taller here on the arms. Um, Head-wise, it's not so much. Uh, legs are a lot chunkier. Um, let me just move that out of the way. The, the blue, I'd say this guy is, it's not really coming up on the camera, I don't think, but this guy is a slightly darker blue. Reds are pretty much the same. We've got no clear plastic in the chest like we do with this guy, but uh, the the chest opens pretty much the same. Uh, hands are not as articulated, obviously, as the x trans bots, and we've got the Autobot logo up there. Uh, and that's it. We got no. We oh, actually, we got replacement faces with this one, but uh, this guy has way more replacement faces. And. And there he is with his other uh, X Trans Bots movie counterpart, uh, Virtus. As you can see, they look uh, look pretty good together there, nicely in scale with each other. So uh, that's them guys. Let's get them transformed up and have a look at them. Okay, so I uh, haven't done a terrible bit of transforming this guy because just uh, between one thing and another, I've just been incredibly busy. So hopefully it'll go pretty well for me. First thing we do is we're going to take the gun out of his hand, uh, fold in the grip on that, and we just leave it to one side for later on. 
Then we come along here and we want to fold those out of the way. And this comes along and this opens back like so. And the same this side. Pull that out and that opens back like so. <coughs> and then we take the whole arm. Oh, sorry, we're going to open up those there on top. Open up that. And then you take the whole arm and that swings up there like that. Okay. Uh, if I remember how to do this without uh, either breaking anything or having to stop and quickly look through the instructions, it will be the Christmas miracle that we've all waited for. Uh, inside the arms here, you need to come along and flip in those little tabs there. You need to pull out the arm first. Uh, flip in those little tabs. Same this side. Make sure the arm is pulled out and flip that in. That sort of locks those arms in that outward position. Uh, so we fold those down. Now this is where I had uh, it's kind of some problems with mine because the joint is incredibly, incredibly tight. And this whole section needs to pull forward. And I just was so afraid I was going to break it. Then we come along with this piece and we flip that forward. And that fills in that there. And we can fold that in there like so. Same on this side. This one. Oh my God, pulls forward like that. And uh, that folds around there like that. Uh, now we want to turn those over, I think. I think I'm right so far. And we come along with the hands, fold the thumbs in like so. Collapse up the fists. Like that. And then we just come along and this whole section opens like that. And comes around like that. And as it's coming around, we kept this piece and we just flip that down like that. And that covers the hand, which I thought was a really nice touch. They didn't have to do that. Um, but it just disguises everything nicely in there. And then you just close it all back up. Put it in there. And the same with this side. Straighten up the hand, fold down the thumb. Pull the fingers in. And open that. Let it fold down. And that just comes around. And as it's coming out, flip that down. And close that up. And that is the arms sort of done for now. Um, now we're going to go on to the legs. Now this is where um, uh, I ran into uh, some difficulty because as you know, anyone that has bought extra and bought stuff will know sometimes the instructions are not always the clearest. So look, we'll give it a go and we we'll see how we get on. Anyway, so we come around the back and first thing you want to do is you need to flip out these things. And then we come along and we flip out these little parts. Um, the amount of spudgers that I needed doing this um, is not even funny. <laughs> Please forgive me that I'm using a screwdriver. Okay, and that folds down there. And then these uh, come out some way. We come back around the front and these come along. So we come around the back here, and that folds out there, and that side folds out there, and then this section just all folds out there like that, and that side all folds out there like that. Uh, and we fold in those, and fold in those. I think I'm right, am I right, am I right? I think I am right. Back around the front, and the legs come out there like that, it opens down. You want to fold in those pieces, and as you're folding them in, they tuck in there out of the way. And the same this side. And these all fold out here like that. So anyone that remembers the, uh, the toy from the 80s will remember that this was not how it looked while you were transforming it. Um, then we come along and these fold down flat, like so. That. And the same this side. That. Now you want to come along, fold this up. And this opens in here like that, and that folds in there like that. And the same this side that folds down there like that. Right. 
will come along and that tucks in there. Like so, and then we come along with the whole thing and this all tabs together down along here. And we come to the back. And this little thing here on the feet flips out and goes together like that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to do this off camera back in a second. Okay, so we've got it this far. So now we're going to come back up and we're going to work on the top part here on the cab. So on the back, you need to flip out these pieces and flip out this piece. And that releases the arms. Then we can come along and this piece needs to rotate here. I'm going to straighten that there as it rotates around. And in here, this little piece comes and flips down. Like so. And same with this side. The arm needs to straighten here. And then this whole section rotates there like that. You've got that hinge in there, and that rotates out there. And as it's coming out, we flip this down. Then come along, pull that up the front here, and that clicks in there, closes off the top. This comes along, pulls up there, clicks in there. Okie dokie. Now we come along, and these are all going. These are going to join up here like so. And this is where we come along with our gun. And this is how you will know that if you if you that you don't have these fully extended because this will not fit in if you don't. So this just comes along and we've got a little peg here and a port here. And on the gun we've got uh, the peg or the post and the little hole there. And that just goes in like so, like so, and like so, and like so. And then that all comes together and same down here that tabs together just right in there there's two little pegs and they go together like that and that is the arms done part of the lorry you can see it's starting to come together now um, so now we're going to move on to the cab and this is where um it just gets a bit weird but look at we'll do it as best we can so what you need to do is fold those out of the way that and this whole section flips forward and in here there's a second hinge that's really really hard to see and it's not very well explained in the instructions and i can't even remember how to get it out so look bear with me and we'll uh, we'll do our best okay so i think we fold these out from what i can remember and then Hopefully I don't break my... Oh, hey, there we go. Right, so I didn't break it on camera. That's always positive. And that flips forward. Then, now we come up here on top. Uh, we are going to untab this here. Go ahead, I'm going to untab. There, like so. Lift up. Keep that looking forward. Uh, now, this little piece here flips up. And then this whole section is out here and here. And then we come along with this one, and we notch. Okay, so it's going to flip out there. In here, okay. So we just need to flip up this, and this comes along. Uh, there's a little section here that we need to flip out right up there. We just need to be really careful because there's quite the small joints here. Out there like so. 
Then we come along with this. And that comes down. That's going to tab in there like so. Okay. Uh, now, a little tab here, a little port here. That's going to go in there and it's going to stabilize that section there. And then back. Oh my God, this is all over. God damn it. Now. It is what it is. But then go say. Um right. So we're on this far. Now. Oh god. Let's open up this, 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 and then all this section here uh unfolds, turns, uh this flips around, this pushes down here, opens out. Uh, flip it around, and it comes along, and let's go down there. And that is helping to start. You can see where this is going. This comes along, pushes down here on the hinge, opens around, fold it down, uh, fit that out. And it falls down like so, it down there, and then this comes along. And it pulls together like that. Okie dokie. Now, come along here and this section, we'll open it down. Uh, this opens back. Keys here. They need to fold up. That needs to fold up. And then they come along and rotate them in there. So, and this comes along, and that comes in, and it goes in there like so. Then we come along, we open out these. That opens out there. And opens out there. The doors open back. And you can see we're starting to assemble the cab here and while we're doing it. Come back up on top here, this whole section flips around, flips in, comes up here on top. Take a look at it there. Let me assure you that as, as difficult as it is to do um, day to day, when you're trying to do it with the camera in front of you, it's actually twice as bad. And they come along and they go in like so. Okay, then we come back here on the front and this comes along and rotates around. And oh, sorry, uh, I'm wrong here. So this is all right. Okay, we're right here underneath. You want to come along and flip the wheels out. <sighs> on the separate side, flip the wheels out. And then we come along and. We just lay this down here. Okay. Now. Okay, hang on. Okay, so just underneath it, before you flip the cab up, you need to come along and get these pieces. I just fold that up out of the way, I just leave, left it a bit easier. Actually meant to be folded up anyway, I believe. And these come along and flip up there, fold down flat. This back up here. This this side. 
got all that tabbed in there. Nice, snug. Everything's lining up. And underneath then we come along and we bring the wheels forward. And then they come along and they push up in there. And they should go in there. Little posts go in their homes. So, okay, got that done, and then we come along and we've got Magnus head, got these little things here, these have to turn, these are really, really, really awkward to turn, so again, we'll use the spudger, aka screwdriver, flip that out there, come along and grab it, flip it up there like that, stay on this side, around there flip it up there like so and then you come along they flip out and you've got a little thing here doesn't want to slide out even if it's pointy so when i was doing this first my wife was looking on and she was like oh my god you need a screwdriver a knife and i also needed a spoon so yeah and it flips up there like that, and the same this side. That flips out there. And go along, and this. I don't know what sort of nails or fingers you want to do this. And it taps like this in. And that falls up there. And then you come along, and that all back up here. And this comes together like. That up there, and there's the cab starting to form. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So that comes along. And it tabs in there. And the same over this side. And it tabs in there and there. And we've got the cab all done. Yes, we've got it done at last. Hooray for getting it done. Then this comes along, flips out here on the petrol tank or the fuel tank or the diesel tank, whatever we're calling it. And it flips up there. And that comes along and tabs in there like so. Just leave that there for now. And the same this side. And that flips out there. Little piece in there, flip that down. And that flips up there like so. Now, in here, this comes along. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Flips out like so. Now we're going to come back down here to the back of the lorry. Oh, look, this one starts to fall apart, and we're going to put it down there. And these come along and open out and put the side. We've got a little tab there, and it's going to go in there. And it's going to go in there, and the whole thing comes along as we move up along uh, this whole section. Comes and pulls, I'm going to say that opens out there, there, like so. This whole section is in there, it closes up like that, comes back there, like that. And we are, yes, we're getting there, we're getting there, hooray, we're getting there now. Something I forgot to do, and it's my bad. It's my bad. Um, and it would have made life so much easier if I had done it. This comes along, and I should have tabbed this in ages ago, but I didn't. So I put this in there. And then that's it. Okay, now, that's so much simpler. Now we come along, and we can, inside here, as I said before, if x bots put as much effort into their instructions as they do their engineering, they would make the bestestest transformers in the world. But because they create incredibly complex transformers with really, really, really shitty instructions, um, It's just a, it can be a mess at times. 
Um, so uh, I think we're right there for the minute anyway. I think we're right. We'll see in a second. Same with this side anyway. You want to flip that over there. And I put in there. That up there. That in there. Like so this is like the Rubik's Cube of Transformers. Not the, not the worst one. That one definitely goes to um, Lock. Hands down, that one goes to lock. Um, and it comes along with there. It's along. I'm going to work that up along. The whole way up to here. I'm not even put the knee right. Uh -huh, okay. And there. Now. What's going on here at all? So in here underneath, this is a bit weird the way this works because this comes along and you need to fold that and let it in there. And then that piece here needs to slide up into there. And then this goes into here. So like this. Okay, and then this comes along and goes in there. So we'll do the same this side. That goes in there. We bring this up along, and this comes down, flip it out, and in there. And that goes up there. And then this comes along and that goes in there like that. Okay, right. So we are slowly but surely getting there. We're actually nearly there now. Um, okay, now it's just a matter of just tabbing all this back in together, tidying it all up, uh, seeing where I went wrong with it as I was transforming it and then changing as I to make it fit. That goes in there. Um, right. Okay, so there I nearly have everything tabbed in. You just have to come along and click in that there again properly. Flip up the smokestack there. I'm just going to adjust my camera here. Okay, so for the missile launchers, we just need to slide them back. They come around, set it there at the back, put it at the side, same this side, slide that forward, put it in the back. We've got all that there, all tucked up there, nice, tight together. And we come around the back here and we just tab those in, and the same, tab that in there. And there we have Commander Stack. As you can see, the the lorry, the, 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 the cab park does turn, but it does not, it is not removable like the, um, like the Takara version. But look at, I think it's a fantastic truck mode. We've got some lovely detail in there, some nice checker plating in there on the, the flatbed of the truck. Uh, I don't think you'd be able to put a car up on top here, but look at, uh, he's never going to be displayed in this mode. He's always going to be in his robot mode. So I am not overly fussed about that. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a good, uh, solid offering from x Bots. Would I recommend it? If you've got the Takara one and uh, you're happy, then stick with it. Uh, if you're looking for something a bit more in scale, then I would definitely go with this. I think it looks great. It's a great uh, reimagine of it. Um, they were the first ones that released. Um, it was actually KFC that did it. Uh, as a citizen stack and anyone that's into transformers will know that uh, Robert, it's actually named after robert stack who did the voice of ultra magnus in the movie 
Uh, one thing I forgot to do is just flip out those little mirrors. And inside the front of this, there actually you can actually open the doors. And I don't know if you can see that, but there are little seats inside that you can, well, you can't put anyone in it, but um, it's still pretty nice. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it looks cool. Uh, as I say, it's never going to be displayed in this mode, but uh, I just said I'd get it into this mode for you, let you see what it looked like. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks so much for watching. If you like the content, make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe, follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, on Instagram as well. If you want to hit me up there, let me know anything, what you're doing, what you're collecting, anything you're at. Anyway, guys, uh, listen, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.